My little Commodore C64 Pi computer is working well and the idea of having a computer in your keyboard has caught on. The Raspberry Foundation released the Pi 400 computer, which features a new PCB for the Pi 4. All the plugs are now on one side, making it much easier to integrate it into a case. This new PCB for the Pi has three disadvantages. First, it lacks an audio jack and second, and more importantly, it does not have an inward-facing USB port. This means that you cannot integrate an SSD into the case and connect it to the Pi internally. Third, the power supply for the Pi 400 remains external and there is no physical switch to disconnect the power completely. So let's try to improve our C64 Pi computer. The heatsink for my Pi already came with a fan but it was unregulated and hence loud and annoying. The Pi Foundation released an official case fan that can be regulated. It also comes with a heatsink, but mine is already much better and also supports the cooling of other components. The instructions on which pins to connect the fan to are printed on the box. It could not be any easier. In Raspberry OS, you only need to activate the fan in the system settings and let the Pi know to which pin the control cable is connected. By default, this is pin number 14. It is important to note that this fan is only regulated to the degree that it switches on once the CPU reaches a set temperature. It cannot spin slowly. It is either fully on or off. There is still some room for improvement here. While the audio output through the 3.5mm audio jack works fine, the audio quality leaves much to be desired. There are dedicated audio shields available that enable your Pi to output high quality sound. But there's no space in the case for such a shield since it would collide with the keyboard. There are also ridiculously expensive USB sound cards available that cost more than the whole computer. I visited my local computer store and bought the cheapest USB sound adapter I could find that was previously confirmed to work with the Pi. The packaging does not even mention the name or the brand of the manufacturer. When I connected the device to my iMac, I could work out that the manufacturer is called C Media Electronics, and this is a standard USB PNP sound device. It does not require a driver for Mac, Windows, or Raspberry OS. The casing of the USB audio stick is a bit too tall for the tightly packed USB ports on the Pi. I therefore removed the case and plugged it into the last remaining internal USB port. Since the December 2020 update to the Raspberry OS, the audio system of the Pi is based on Pulse Audio. You can simply select the USB audio device from your output settings. The music sounds much better even from this cheap USB audio adapter. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button or subscribe to my channel to get the latest update on this project.